What's the best chocolate cereal? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. It is day four of our March Milkness Tournament to crown the best champion cereal of all time, which means we are only one cereal shy of the final four and one day closer to diabetes. Eight chocolatey cereals are ready to compete. Let's find out which will make us cuckoo for their cocoa and which will make us choco on their cocoa. It's time for March Milkness Chocolatey Region. Okay, just to recap, we've got four cereal regions, sugary, healthy, fruity, and chocolatey, and you guys voted on your top eight from each category, which we seeded into our March Milkness bracket. And today, eight chocolatey cereals are going head to head until we crown one winner to advance. Let's take a look at our top eight seeds. We've got Reese's Puffs. Count Chocula. Cookie Crisp. Cocoa Krispies. Cocoa Pebbles. Oreo O's. Cocoa Puffs. And Crave. Let's dive in. Okay, we're starting with the top ranked seed in this category with 12,847 votes, Reese's Puffs, versus the lowest ranking seed with 3,391 votes, Count Chocula. Mm -hmm. Now, Reese's Puffs, released in 1994, uh, very, very highly rated, second highest vote total overall, and Peanut one, butter and chocolate. I mean, you can't go wrong with this, but one serving of this has this more sugar than a Reese's peanut butter cup, <laughs> just the actual candy. Oh, wow. The moment you taste it, put it in your mouth, you hit, you get hit with a perfect combination of peanut butter and chocolate. But do they taste different, two different ones? It's a good question, I don't know. Um, Count Chocula was introduced in 1971, but getting in 2010, they started only releasing it around Halloween. I think they taste the same, um, but they taste good. There's Ghost, pieces and then some bat marshmallows in there. It wow. started okay, but then, do, you, do you know what's happening in your it's mouth kinda, right now? It's kind of like chocolate dog food, which I like. You know what it's reminiscent of? It's reminiscent of those expired cereals we've been eating. Like well, the, we did have to get it from like last Halloween, but it's not that old. No, no, I'm saying that the I, I, I think this is just Count Chocula in its best form. Yeah, it's really not good. I'm kind of disappointed. It's not even a contest here. No, it's not. You even know close. how much I love peanut butter. So Reese's Puffs moves on, Alex. Our fourth seed with 8,278 votes is Cookie Crisp versus the fifth seed Cocoa Krispies with 6,185 votes. Okay, Cookie Crisp been around as long as I have since '77. People. It's just little chocolate chip cookies, and that's the whole point: is to make a cereal that's cookies. The start is cookie forward, and then as they get soggy, it it kind of becomes a cookie dough experience. What a that, great country, man! That it, it gets neater we can and just more make interesting. Little cookies and make it a cereal when it gets soggy. And Cocoa feed Krispies. It to kids. These were uh, introduced in 1958. Around that time, there was another character called Pal. Really? What happened uh, to him? Well, once you pal, you're kind of out. Right. You know. You, you get one pal. Right. Um, that's a good cereal. And it's not overly cocoa, you know what I'm saying? Like This is actually more difficult than I thought because this is the Rice Krispie alternative that's pretty magical. It is good, here's the thing. This is a bowl full of little cookies. <laughs> I mean, just wrap your mind around that again. I can't, wrap, I can't wrap my mind around wrap it. Wrap your mouth around it. And tell me, it, it isn't a good cereal. And it's so distinct on the cereal aisle. I, I, I'm voting that it moves on, even though I gotta give props to this. It's very good, Cocoa Krispies is very good. But yeah, we're sending okay. a cookie crisp. Way to go, Alex, you're a good sticker. Thank you, I stick with the best of them. Next up, it's the three seed with 10,825 votes, Cocoa Pebbles, versus the six seed with 5,684 votes, Oreo O's. Mm -hmm. Okay, Cocoa Pebbles, what I'm noticing immediately is this is what Cocoa Krispies wants to be. It looks like a bowl of coffee beans. I mean, it's so dark, and so, it's already turned the milk into chocolate milk. Like, look how dark the milk is. Whoa, look at that milk. Already, I mean, they do not hold back with the chocolate. Whoa! Holy, whoa! I just got punched in the face by a chocolate. I feel like my face is being assaulted. All right, don't even need to try the Oreos, because <laughs> that's horrible. Now, what if this is horrible too? <laughs> oh my gosh, I hope it's not. Okay. Introduced in 1997, discontinued in 2007, except in South Korea, 
due to some international loophole with Oreo O's. But it I was mean, just recently brought back because I, I was thinking that we had, oh, we had something from back. 2007. No. <laughs> but this is actually. We would never do that. They just brought them back. Back by popular demand. I like how they're they're kind of they're kind of frosty, and then you get them wet, and they turn dark chocolatey. Oh man, that tastes like an Oreo. It yeah. tastes like you're just eating Oreos, which puts it in a cookie crisp situation. Yeah, more than I realized. Um, That's good, Alex. This is the clear winner. We all know it. Oreo O's moves on, even though it's the lower seed. Yeah, Cocoa Pebbles is an accident. Coco Puffs is the number two seed with 12,148 votes versus the seventh seed with 3,685 votes. Kellogg's Crave with a K. Coco Puffs introduced in 1958. You know Sonny the Cuckoo Bird with his catchphrase. I'm cuckoo Coo for Coco Puffs. Puffs. Which has become part of the American lexicon. Vernacular. Dink it, air dink it. Nope. First observation is Great balance of chocolate and a very, in my estimation, pleasing chocolate flavor. I actually Auth authentic chocolate. Actually, I actually don't compared to like what it. we just had. To me, this is the most authentic and best of the the ones that are super chocolatey, like Count Chocula. They use Cocoa real Krispies, Hershey's Cocoa chocolate in the flavored corn puffs. Um, I think that's what you're picking up on. Yeah, don't trust Link on this one, guys. This tastes like authentic chocolate way more than any of the other ones. Yeah, I, I just don't love it. Um, but I'm fine with you not trusting me. Uh, Crave with a K introduced in the UK in 2010, in the US in 2012. Never had this. Um, I'm just gonna bite this to give you a cross section. Look at that. It's chocolate filled cereal? Tastes like roadkill smells. <laughs> and it's not the chocolate, it's the it's that yellow part. And I mean that in all kindness, <laughs> Kellogg, <laughs> Kellogg's. So it's clear, Cocoa Puffs moves on. He did it. Okay, we've got Reese's Puffs, our number one seed, versus Cookie Crisp. Mm. We know we like both of these. This kind of feels like a personal finals for me. I mean, because I'm very fond of both of these. It's really good, undeniable. Again, because of the circular nature, they stay crisper longer than I think the the cookie does, but then the cookie becomes dough. Cookie, cookie crisp is super crispy though. This is tough. I love peanut butter. There's a little bit. I love cookie dough. There's a little bit of artificial taste in the cookie crisp. I, yeah. if, I, if I have to be honest about it. Yeah, you, you're right. It has a really strong cookie dough taste to begin with, but then if you wanna get critical, you can say it's a little bit of a fakey taste, whereas I don't get that at all with the uh, Reese's Puffs. I absolutely agree that there's a little hint of something that's like, they need to tweak. Yeah, yeah. I know it's been a while, Cookie Crisp, but you <laughs> need to tweak it a little it's bit. It's time to tweak. This magical combination is is always gonna be one of my favorites. Okay. So we agree. Let's send it on. Puffs moves on, Alex. Okay, so we got Oreo O's versus Cocoa Puffs. These are good, and the milk is cookies and cream. That's a big thing that I hadn't thought of, which reminds me that we're having a cereal milk tournament on Instagram TV and Facebook. So go over there and watch the mythical team try to try to spar that out. But it is also a factor here. It's very authentically Oreo. Like, mm -hmm. it doesn't have a fakey taste anywhere in the flavor profile. But my cocoa, cocoa Puffs are back. They're so crispy, they're so good. Listen, this is the only chocolate flavored cereal in the United States that is made with real chocolate. That's got to stand for something. Here's my thing. I don't even like Oreos, really, unless they're dipped in milk. And that's all this is. Well, you know where I stand. I am sending Cocoa Puffs through. If you don't agree with me, then uh, we're, gonna, you have can't, to, we're yeah. gonna have to result. You, you cannot. To, uh, resort I, to a tiebreaker. I'm voting for the Oreo O's. Okay. Tiebreaker it is. Please welcome the physician of transmission, the Shaquille O'Neal of automobiles, the Michael Jordan of guys named Gorgon, our friend, Gorgon. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Come on over. Hey. We need your help to settle which one of these cereals is better. 
Uh, we've got Oreo O's and Cocoa Puffs here. Um, are you a cereal lover? Of course. That's first off, let me tell something for the uh, first of all, I want to say thank you so much. What? For the having me again. Of course. And we always love to have you, Gordon. I told whole people is watch the good medical morning. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Get the <laughs> and, word out. And then I will be the judge to the All right. Yeah. cereal. Yes. All right. Okay. I'm ready. You're the judge to the cereal. Which, whichever one you want to start with. Okay. He's starting with the Oreo O. When I baby, I use it to my cereal. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit there. He's it's thinking. It's a delicate bite. That's a man who He's wants thinking. to make the right decision. He's giving me that famous look of his. Now try it's this one. a good one. test. I, okay. used to, I, I used to this one a long time ago. Let's oh, try okay. for this, this one. Okay. Gorgon, we need your buzzer beater answer of which oh one is God. better in five, four, three, two, one. I'm happy about this one. <laughs> I am too. Yeah. Uh, okay, you know what? That's what this. This is how this works. Yeah. You were the judge of the cereal, yeah, and you course, judged yeah. this one to be better. Thank you, Gorgon. Yes, Rhett. <laughs> Thank you, Gorgon. Okay, Thank All you right. so much. Thank you. Oreo Thank you. O's moves on, Alex. Bam. Hey, Gorgon. Okay, we've got Reese's Puffs versus Oreo O's. Mm-hmm. Give me some more of that chocolate peanut butter. This has been a tough round. Never knew about this. Here's the interesting thing. Both of these are really good cereals. But if you told me this was a peanut butter cereal, I would be like, oh, it's peanut butter cereal. I do not taste any chocolate. You don't taste any chocolate? I taste peanut butter. If I told you, hey, that's peanut butter cereal, you'd be like, oh, cool. I do agree that it's mostly peanut butter, but. I'd say it's 95% peanut butter. I'm not saying there's not a hint of chocolate, but. The chocolate balls and the peanut butter balls taste the same. They both taste like peanut butter. <clears throat> no. This, this tastes like Oreos. I disagree, man. You I, I you, you almost had me, but no, it's a mild chocolate. It's I mean, good. I, I think the reason why you're saying that is because you're eating it next to this. It's not I, nearly as chocolatey. No, as no, it's this. not. What, re that's what why region it, are we in right it now? It tends to disappear. What region are we in right but now? But it is there. We're in the, what region? Chocolatey. Yep. Plus peanut butter is is my vote. You're not, you, you can't take me off of it. I want to send Oreos through. Uh, we've never done this, but it looks like we're going to have to have another tiebreaker. You remember him from just a moment ago. It's Gorgon. Yeah! <laughs> Come on over, Gorgon. Come on over here. All right. Wow. Well, wow. I hope you weren't already like taking a nap or something. <laughs> yes. We've reached another okay. impasse, Gorgon. Uh, we can't agree on these, so you've got Oreo O's, which you've just had, but now you've got to taste them against Reese's Puffs. So give them another taste. Sure, starting by this one. Okay. Yeah, he does a little digging. He digs to the, for the right bite. He's like a miner. He takes it seriously. But also with a like a icing of happiness, because that's what Gorgon brings to everything. Yep, he does. He chooses the one that makes him happy. He made that. <laughs> he made that clear last time. Okay. And he is happy. It's yeah, just yes. what makes him more happy. Okay, Gorgon, we're gonna need your buzzer beater decision in five, four, three, two, one. I prefer this one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. This is like a Cinderella story. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Morios, the un. Likely story happen? makes it to the final four. It is good. How happy are you right now? It's good. It's, really good. <laughs> it's a good chocolatey cereal. Yeah. Good. You're not and not really good. Top I said it's a good one, but interest this one. Yeah, yeah. He's interested yeah. in that one. Okay. Make sure you come back tomorrow when we'll crown the overall cereal champion. <laughs> Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Now you say you know what time it is. Time right now. I'm Summer Hall, and I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah but I'm in California, and my brothers just met Rhett at a Clippers game. And it's time, time to, to spin, spin the wheel of mythicality. They're like, we're, <laughs> we're really excited uh, about it. <laughs> uh, well, uh. Click the top link to watch us try 28-year-old Adam's Family Cereal and Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Having a naked phone is embarrassing, but you can avoid that by popping into mythical.store and buying some of our pop sockets.